DNA is the genetic material in every cell that is passed from generation to generation. Each cell has a lot of DNA, and it needs to be organized to make it easy to inherit. But how is your DNA organized? DNA in cells exists in discrete units called chromosomes. Each chromosome is made up of one very, very, very long piece of double-stranded DNA that has thousands of genes. Your cells have 46 chromosomes, and they come in pairs. 23 that you inherited from your biological mother, and a matching pair of 23 chromosomes from your biological father. Thus, most of your genes come in duplicates, a copy from mom and a copy from dad. If you accidentally inherit one too little or one too many chromosomes, consequences can be severe. For example, Down syndrome occurs when you have three instead of two copies of chromosome 21. One pair of chromosomes is unique and is involved in determining your sex. If you inherit an X chromosome from mom and an X from dad, you are a double X and acquire the characteristic traits of a female. If you acquire the puny little Y chromosome from dad, then you are an XY and become a male. Different organisms have different numbers of chromosomes. Some plants have hundreds of chromosomes, and some ants have only one pair. In addition to their role in heredity, chromosomes are a way of packaging a long string of DNA in a small, small space. In animals, fungi, and plants, DNA is stored in a membrane structure called the nucleus. If we blow up a nucleus 10,000 times its size, then it would fit half the width of this paper. On this scale, your DNA in total would be 20 kilometers long and would have to fit into this space without getting tangled. In chromosomes, special proteins called histones act like spools to wrap and help neatly package DNA. Want to learn more about how chromosomes are inherited? See our videos on mitosis and meiosis.